Hi, Aries. Welcome. Thanks for coming in and spending time with me. I really appreciate it. We're going to do a reading, just an update reading. Okay, see how things are going. And this is for sun, moon, rising. So please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. All right. We're going to take some oracle cards and then go straight into the tarot. You have let spirit be your guide, which is really a beautiful energy. So during this time, if you have any questions at all, go to spirit. Your guardian angels, your higher self, okay? So they can help you. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> the fates. Beautiful. The fates, what they're saying is it's really out of your hands. You know, it's up to the fates how things turn out. But I think every time I've gotten the fates, or almost every time, it turns out wonderfully. I think it's a great card. Okay, let's see what else we have. Reflection. Okay, now let's get some tarot. Reflection is talking about how you are is reflected back at you. So that's a great place to learn where you, you know, need to create change. Or, you know, if you're doing something really good, things like that. And if you see that things are not going well, then look on the inside and see what you feel you need to change. All right? Okay, your first card out. It looks like it's a stressful time. This is where your thoughts and emotions that are coming from within you are getting the best of you. And it could be for any reason. It could be from an external source that's causing you to have these thoughts and emotions. And it could be doubts, fears. There are many reasons why. And I think that's probably why it's being connected to let spirit be your guide. Go to spirit. Give it to spirit to be transformed. But I think a key point here is to realize that it's coming from within you. Your thoughts, your emotions. Okay? Because that means you have power to overcome that. You also have the Nine of Wands, which is saying it's a wounded warrior. It's saying that you're standing guard, you're protecting which I'm sure has something to do with this. Okay. And you have the devil. I think we should probably pause here and take a few clarifying cards because this does look like a challenge. But what a beautiful card to get. You know, let spirit be your guide if you're going through challenges. So let's see what more we can Okay, first card is the Emperor. Now that's beautiful. The Emperor is saying that you're a leader. You have the power, the strength to make the decisions that you need to make to go forward. So use your Emperor's strength and determination. Okay, you have the Moon. The moon is saying use your intuition and that there might be something you are not seeing during this time and it will come to light. You know, uh, you might have to put in some effort to find out what's going on or it might just in time come to light and it could be a very short period of time. 
but there is a possibility that you're not seeing the whole picture. And one of the things that sometimes I say with this card is it's what you feed. If you feed the good side, it will grow. If you feed the bad side, it will grow. Whichever side you do not feed is going to wither and die. So right here, I'm sure this is making reference to this. If you're in this kind of energy, you're feeding into it. Maybe not intentionally at all, but be aware of your thoughts, okay? And if a challenging thought is coming in, then just gently pause it and bring in something positive. For example, say with this one, it might be, I am calm, I am happy, I am stress-free. And you have to be aware of your thoughts, okay? And as soon as a challenging one comes in, replace it with a positive thought. And that will help you a lot. Okay, here, this is saying you're feeling the need to protect and defend yourself. Like somebody is trying to stop you or something's trying to stop you or take something from you. And here it's saying you need to drop all your burdens. Okay, so this devil energy, I'm sure, is here because of this and potentially this. You need to take control, okay? Take on the, it's a very strong energy. Take on the emperor energy. Take control of your life. Here, make for sure you're feeding the good side and using your intuition. And realize that you're beautiful just how you are, all right? This feeling the need to protect defend because you feel like somebody's against you or something's trying to stop you, go in and actually analyze that. Try to zoom out to see the bigger picture. Is that really what's going on or is it your fears of it? Okay. And here it's saying drop the burdens. You're carrying heavy burdens. Drop them. If you drop those burdens, this will lighten up. I think all of this is here to explain how to get out of this. You feel like you have to protect and defend, which goes right over to this one, right? And it's saying drop the burdens. So when you're in this energy, it um, is helping this devil energy, right? They like that. Here you're feeling like you've got to protect and defend something. Use these instead to get out of this. This will go away. And remember, right here, this energy, let spirit be your guide. And that will help you get through. Okay, let's get some tarot for the fates. A tower. All right, now towers, what they are is a quick moving energy. And it is an abrupt change. And from these cards here, a tower could easily be a very welcome energy. You want out of this energy. And here's advice on how to do it, right? Including let spirit be your guide. Taking all this on might very well bring in a tower. So allow it to come in if you see that it is beneficial. It could be a quick way out of this challenge. Beautiful. And you have a new beginning. With the tower, oftentimes it is, if not most times, the end to a cycle and the beginning of something new. And here, this new beginning is one of insight, you know, where you're able to see clearly and you're beginning to use your wisdom. So you're going to see things in a whole new light, which is definitely going to be to your benefit. Love that. I'm using the, diff the different deck. <laughs> okay. All right, here you have the Seven of Swords. And what this is saying could be a few different things is one is you're using strategy to go forward. Say like in a chess game or something, you know, you're trying to think of the ways to go forward using your wits, right? But it could also be saying 
that there could be somebody who is trying to do something sneaky. So actually, let's go ahead and get a clarifying card for that or two. Beautiful, the Queen of Pentacles. For me, she is balance. Um, she's very together. Her finances are good. Money's good. Family life is beautiful. She balances everything. Okay, let's get another one. You need to take some time to go within and use your intuition, which you have a card of intuition over here with the moon. get one more here and you have the knight of cups which is taking action going for love all right so here is either strategy or potentially somebody trying to do something uh, that's not in your best interest queen of pentacles hangman knight of cups here is you wanting stability, you going in to find the answers that you're looking for and taking action towards love. So I would say this is you trying to figure out how to go forward. Use your Ace of Swords energy, okay? Because that's got wisdom, clear sight, clear thinking, and it will help you in this. Okay, now as far as reflection goes, another challenging card, the Five of Pentacles. And this is where you're kind of feeling alone, left out, desolate potentially. But this is a door. This is similar to the Nine of Swords in that these are your thoughts, right? And your emotions. You have the key to this door. You can open this up and go out. So what I'm feeling is this challenging energy that is around you is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's showing up in all three in a different way. Here it's the Nine of Swords, here it's the Five of Pentacles, and here it's the Seven of Swords. And now, like I said, the Seven of Swords can be you, but it's still where you're feeling like you need to behave in a way that might be outside of your norm because of potential outside influences, you know? Let's see what we have here. Three beautiful cards. Yay. Okay. This is the Fool. And this is saying it is time for you to have a brand new beginning. And this is what the Tarot is based on, right? So it's a truly a brand new beginning for you. They, and they say, leave the negativity behind. Come to the edge. Make this like an adventure, okay? Leave the past behind you and have this beautiful new start. Take care of yourself. Make yourself a priority. Give yourself the love that you need. And here, one of the very best cards in the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. And this is saying that it, it might take work, but what you want to go for is something where you can leave a legacy if you choose. It's something that is very long-lasting, brings much happiness, financial security. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. This reflection is showing that you're getting out of this challenging energy, having this beautiful new beginning, a true new beginning, where you're going to make yourself a priority, treat yourself with love, and begin the process of creating this beautiful legacy for you and those you care about. So for me, this is really an impactful reading. It's got a lot going on with it. Um, but it looks like it could prove to be beautiful, just almost like a novel, you know. Here are the huge challenges. Here's fixing it, and here's this beautiful outcome. 
Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. Learn more. Okay, you have the Three of Wands, which is letting you know that what you want is here for you. You know, putting this behind you and having this beautiful new beginning, it's here for you. You just have to reach out and grab it. Okay. <laughs> Very fast, positive moving energy coming right in at you. Love that. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Ace of Wands. So you have a new beginning where you're thinking clearly, using your wisdom. And this is the one where you're really passionate about something, about what you're going for, I'm sure. And here is the new beginning, the new beginning, where you're supposed to make it an adventure, you know, enjoy this process. Okay, let's get one more. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, these are awesome over here. Yeah, look at this. How awesome is this? You have the world. And this is talking about completing a cycle. And then this looks like it's a challenging cycle. And yes, the fates are on your side here. So you should be very proud of yourself for going through this and making this transformation. So if there's something difficult that you're going through, realize you can create the change and that the fates are going to help you make this change, definitely. And if the tower's coming in, it looks like it is a very good tower. All right? And you're going to have this new beginning. Brand new beginning. Love it. And now you have some very fast energies here. The Tower and this um, Eight of Wands. So you can expect potentially some of this to come in quickly for you. Okay? And like I said, it's almost like a novel. The challenges, how you work through it, and this beautiful outcome. That's an awful lot to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. And I really hope that this message helps you. If you are in a challenging energy, remove yourself from that energy, okay? Because you have a lot of beautiful things waiting for you on the other side. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. No. Okay. Look for a sign. And I'm sure this no is do not stay in this energy, okay? Do not stay here. Look for a sign. It's quite possible it could be coming in to show you, okay, the tower is getting ready to start. Mm -hmm. And there could actually be quite a few signs throughout here. But you need to try to see them. Sometimes they're very subtle. To know, oh yeah, okay, I see this opportunity for this new beginning. Or yeah, this I feel a tower might be coming in, you know, this big change. So try to stay open to those, all right? And do not let yourself stay in this energy. It will not serve you. Okay, let's get a charm. And see what it would like to share. Okay. This is a wine cart. And it has um, food, wine, celebration. And this sounds almost silly, but all the charms I have that have wheels or are a form of transportation mean forward moving. So this has wills, so it's going to be forward moving, but a celebration. It's going to be a time of happiness. Thank you so much, and I really hope this helps. Much love. Bye.